Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Anil and uh, in this Laravel e-commerce video tutorial, we will learn that how we can make a functionality for remove to cart, right? So these are the small three steps to make it happen. One, first of all, we will make a link. Uh, this is basically a button. So we will just replace this button with a link and uh, then we will make a route. We will make a function so that we can remove this cart from the database also. And at the last, we will push this code on a GitHub repository. If you just want to follow me on Insta, then link is here, right? This one. So now let's uh, uh, just jump on this uh, cart list page code. So just simply click, click on it. And here you can see that we have a button. So first of all, let's convert it with the A tag. Oh, my bad. Right. And add a href tag, right? So we can just make a link here. So let's say uh, we are just want to make a link with the remove cart or something, right? And now we need to uh, ID of the cart table, right? So let's say we just want to remove this product, then we need ID of this. But we don't have this ID for a moment because we have a, a only product detail inside the item, right? So how we can just do it for that, let's again just go to the product detail, uh, sorry, product controller basically, product controller and uh, just add a uh, one more field here, we can just simply add here, um, cart underscore id as cart id, right, but uh, like let's say it's cart id but this should be cart dot id right so here we can just simply put here double curly braces item dollar item basically dollar item dot cart underscore id right uh, sorry it should be uh, arrow not dot that's great now let's see what we are just getting here so now this is the link with an id so when i just click on it it will just take me on a url but this page is not found because we have to define a uh, route for it so for that let's just jump on uh, web.php right and make a route here right so just uh, make another route copy the word url here and it will just get uh, ID with it. So we can just simply put here ID and uh, the function name inside a controller will be the same, but with the cap, uh, camel case, right? And now just uh, come on the function controller, put the function name and it will have ID parameter. And here we can just simply use here cart model that we just uh, created some videos uh, ago you can see that this is a cart model right and I just simply put here destroy method and destroy method will work with the ID so just put here dollar ID and uh, after that we can just simply return here redirect and we can redirect it to the again this page which is the card detail right so we can just make it like this i think everything should be fine so let's check it out so i just uh, want to remove my last lg mobile so just click on it and now you can see that the last mobile is oppo right right so let's say i just want to remove uh, this my fridge so let's try and now you can see that we don't have any fridge so let's remove the duplicate products for a moment let's say this one and uh, this one and, and and what more this one right so now we have some some of products and if we, you just want to check that now we have a lots of uh, data you can see that are 12 total data but whenever i'm just going to refresh it then you will find there we have only six data now because other data is removed from here so this is the way that how we can make a functionality for remove to cart in the next video, we will uh, just create a new page. On that page, we will just uh, make a total of our payment and uh, just we will make a functionality of proceed to it, right?
So thanks for watching this video. If you still have conf confusion, you can ask me in the comment box. And please don't forget to subscribe my channel and follow me on Instagram. So bye bye. Take care.